¡Hey! Hola, ¿cómo están? Muy buenas tardes, emprendedores, como diría la frase oficial de arrancar estos videos. ¿Cómo están? No saben qué gusto me da estar por ustedes por acá. Eh, estoy extremadamente contento porque tenemos un invitado de súper lujo el día de hoy. Eh, la verdad es que una leyenda dentro de las leyendas. Vamos a esperarlos, a esperarlo unos segunditos en lo que, en lo que se acerca acá con nosotros. Quiero darles las gracias primero que nada a todos los que se van a anotar el día de hoy. Estoy seguro que va a ser un enorme, enorme live este. Eh, y bueno, nada más vamos a esperar a la llegada de nuestro invitado. Eh, yo creo que muchos han visto todas, pues todos los videos que he hecho alrededor de, del contenido de Robert. Sin duda es alguien que ha movido por la claridad sobre todo. Tiene una manera de decir las cosas, una manera de encontrar eh, modelos sencillos para que podamos entender, ¿no? Déjenme veo, ahí está. Felicitud. Y estamos esperando ya a Robert Kiyosaki, eh, una leyenda literal en el mundo. ¡Hey, Robert! Carlos, ¿cómo estás? I'm uh, so glad to be with you. It's an honor. Uh, welcome, first of all, to the largest entrepreneurial community in, in Latin America. Um, we are so happy. I, I got right. so many messages when, when everybody knew you were going to be here. It was overwhelming. I mean, the amount of, of support and love people have for you, Robert, is just amazing. So first of all, thank you very much for this, for this space here. I'm, I'm so glad that you're here. Oh, well, thank you. I'm honored. My, my honor. Thank you. <laughs> I'd like to start off, if you don't mind, with, a, with something. Most of the people here in the community I run are <coughs> business owners, small and medium business owners. They've already, they've already taken that leap from being an, an uh, they're already self-employed or have a business. But my, qu my first question is, what do you think is the biggest mindset change from being self-employed to being a business owner? I talk, to, I, I talk about this a lot, and I feel that most people are stuck in the, self, uh, in the self-employed quadrant, especially in my community. Yeah, that's, um, that's not an easy, that's not a one answer question, you know? <laughs> it's, it's really a process, and it's a self-development. You know, that's like, how do you start off as an amateur golfer to becoming a pro golfer? It's a whole process you go through. You don't start there. And um, most, I think the biggest, the biggest reasons people don't make it is because they went to school. And schools teach you that you have to be smart. And that's not really true. You know, like most of the great entrepreneurs never finished school, like Steve Jobs and Walt Disney and Henry Ford. Uh, they didn't finish school. Zuckerberg didn't finish school. And then the bad thing about it is you pick up bad habits in school because they're training you to be an employee. You know, go to school to get a job. So in your mindset, <clears throat> you have the word job. And then you want steady paycheck. And then you have to be smart. And those are kind of the, the hurdles that a person has to get through. And, um, But it's, it's really, what are your objectives? How do you want to get there? I don't know if I have anything here, but uh, I'll show you. I use pictures because it's easier to explain in pictures. Okay. So this is comes from book number two, The Cash Flow Quadrant. Okay? Yes. So most people go to school to go here, employee. Correct. Book number two. And then some people become doctors or lawyers, self-employed, but they're also smart. Most people who are entrepreneurs become small business entrepreneurs. Okay, so when I started off years and years ago, I knew I wanted to come here and come here. So B stands for big business, 500 employees or more. And I doesn't stand for investor, it stands for inside investor. So I invest from the inside. So the advantage I have by having my rich dad was I knew my mindset, but also my education was going to be different. 
So uh, if you look at what I did, rather than me talk about it, is B, <clears throat> B also stands for brand. So if you are a small entrepreneur and you can build a brand like Apple or um, Amazon or Google, you're a big entrepreneur. Robert, so I, knew that's, I, I, that's knew I, had, I knew I had to start a brand. That took years. Most people, don't, most people just want to make money. That's why they stay small. At some point, do you believe that you are stepping in two of the quadrants at the same time? I mean, you might be an investor some of the time and a business owner and sometimes even selling your services. Can you be part of the time in, 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 in a couple of the quadrants? Yeah, I mean, you could do anything. It's a free country. Free. You can do anything you like. <laughs> you know, I'm, I'm technically an employee of my own company. I also do, when I write, I'm self-employed of my company. I also own the brand. And I'm an inside investor. The reason I make so much money is I don't invest in paper. I don't invest in stocks, bonds, mutual funds, ETFs, because then I'd be an outsider. These guys invest as outsiders, and these guys invest as insiders. So I'm not trying to say you can, nobody should do it, you know what I mean? But knowing that as a young man, I knew what I had to learn. And that's why most school teachers are criminals. They should, they should die poor because they, th they teach you <laughs> things like this. No, they do. Go to school, play it safe, get a job, work hard, get a paycheck, you know, get a retirement plan. And you have that in your head. You're screwed. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, Robert, um, you've, I mean, during this years, I assume you've, you had the chance to get to know very successful entrepreneurs, CEOs of very large companies. Those of those you mentioned that they've created their brand, that they've created. Oh, wait, these... wait. I, I, I don't give a shit about CEOs, man. <laughs> I don't. Well, I, I was going to, I was going to. Yeah. Most, most of them are here. Most CEOs. Uh, I, was, I, I, I meant I meant like founders of large companies. That that was what I was meaning. Um, but no, my you don't question... have to. Please don't put words in my fucking mouth. <laughs> I didn't right. say that. Okay, that pisses me off. No, no, no. Don't say I like I hang out with CEOs and you have to be a major corporate. You don't have to be. So please don't say I said that. Be very careful. That upsets me more than anything else, okay? You can be you can be small and still build a brand. Okay. You can I, I you know, I just did a hundred million dollar deal, but I'm still a small investor. I understand it nothing to do with size. It has to do with knowledge. Okay. And I I I'm, I'm just trying to say to you the reason most people don't make it over here, they just want to get paid. They think money is the most important thing on earth. Money is not important to me. It's my education is important to me. It's what do I learn? How do I do it? Can I build a brand? If you can build a brand, you're a mega millionaire. But most people can't build a brand. And if you can invest from the inside, you can be very rich. But most people cannot invest from the inside. I'm pleased here, and I'm, I, I get very adamant about this because most people think I'm saying it from this side. I'm saying it from this side here. Yeah. I can invest from the inside. That's why I don't need any money. Now, Robert, when you say you're building the brand, you mean the Robert Kiyosaki brand, or did you mean the rich dad? I mean, you've you've built many brands. How has your view of branding changed between personal branding and company branding? I don't give a shit about Robert Kiyosaki. The brand is called Rich Dad. Okay. Okay, okay those are good questions, but I'm, what you're asking me is the reason people don't build brands is because they don't know what they are. Okay. I mean, it makes, I mean, there's a guy named Warren Buffett. You ever hear of him? <laughs> yes. Okay, his of company course. is called Berkshire Hathaway. Berkshire Hathaway was a shirt company, but it became a brand for his company. The reason Buffett is a big investor is he only invests in brands. If, if you guys on this side with your little pea shit brains, you know, 
if your school teacher brains could understand what's so, oh, now how do I build a brand? Or how do I invest from the inside? Then you start to learn. But if you think you know what I'm talking about, you don't. Okay, so that's, I, I'm very adamant about that because I get misquoted all the time. So I want you to understand that Buffett only, he's an investor, but he only invests in brands. Right. His number one brand is called Coca-Cola, Geico, BVD, Gillette. Okay, so when I was a young man, I had to ask myself, how do I build a brand? The book isn't Robert Kiyosaki, it's called Rich Dad. I was building a brand. I used to work for the rock bands. There was an old band called Duran Duran and the Police and Van Halen and Boy George. I worked with them just so I could learn how to build a brand. You see, my education is more important than money. And people who are so desperate for money don't learn much. These guys here are desperate for money. They're so desperate for money, but they're not interested in their education first. And, and, and Robert, I think it's th there's also uh, a, a part of the, what they're missing is a part on leadership, right? I mean, it's, it's the education. A lot of people have read your books and they still haven't gotten that traction. I, I believe there's an, a leadership component in that equation that uh, is, is a part of the drive you feel inside, right? for going to that goal, for, for, for setting the next goal. So what's, what's your connection between the leadership part with the brand building, the business mindset? What's, what's your connection between those two elements? I, I really don't understand your question. You know I mean, I went to the number one school of leadership in America. I mean, yeah. I, 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 look, I don't mean to be, I am a student 100%. So when people ask me about leadership, the school I went to was called the United States Merchant Marine Academy at Kings Point, New York, the number one school in leadership. We were taught to be a leader. So I go to school to learn this stuff. The reason I understand real estate is because I go to school to understand real estate. When I wanted to learn about stocks, I went to school to learn about stocks. And options, I learned about options. I am a student. That's what I'm trying to say to you, but I'm a student on this side here, yeah, not this side here. And your original right. question was valid. How do people get out of this? Mm -hmm. But they have to realize that there's a difference on this side of education. Most school teachers can never get out of here. Most school teachers are criminals. You know, they need that paycheck. In America today, these school teachers are not teaching. They're asking for pay raises, but they're not teaching because yeah, of COVID. Do, do you know what I mean? They're criminals. And amazing. But yeah, it's, they, it's... They, no, but they think like employees. I can't blame them. They think like my poor dad. That's how they think. They want the paycheck. I don't want the paycheck. <laughs> If you can understand that, you can, your brain can start to shift. How, yeah. does, you know, how do I do it without a paycheck? Totally. Okay, so that, please hear what I'm saying. You're not, you're not hearing what I'm saying. Yes, yes, I am correct. being very clear on it. I am a student. Correct. I am studying constantly. Okay, but I'm not studying how to get a paycheck. Most people go to school to get a paycheck. Yes. <laughs> yeah. No, I, I, I hear you, Robert. I, I, I myself believe that I have an infinite learning gen. It's, it's a part of my DNA. So I'm, I'm, I'm with you with that. Um, another question I had for you, Robert, is obviously we're, we're living in very uncertain times. It's, it's the VUCA world, what they call very volatile, very uncertain. How has your view on, on business changed this year? I mean, have you felt something different in applying your methodologies specifically for during the pandemic? Yeah, I'm getting richer. <laughs> I am. Yeah. And you, you can you can you can ask you can ask Alexandra. You know, I mean, our company is rolling in cash because the company was designed that way because we designed the business on this side 
not this side. But I, I, I'm doing my best to say to you, it's not an accident. It's study. I am a student. I just don't study what those communist school teachers teach. <laughs> That that's that that's great, Robert. So um, specifically, <laughs> you don't you don't think I'm correct, do you? I mean, it's no, 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 no. Uh, they're communists. They teach communism. Yes. I, I want you to know, I studied economics. You know, do you know there's th there's different types of economics? Yeah. What do you mean by okay, that? <laughs> there's, there's military economics, there's socialist economics, and capitalist economics. There's three. Let me let me ask you this question. Which one do schools teach? Mm -hmm. Military, socialist, or capitalist economics? That's, that's a good question. Socialist. And I, socialist. Yeah. They don't, the teachers don't even know that because they don't know anything about economics. Yeah, they okay. live inside their own, they live inside their own quadrant. They, they, they'll never move from there. Yeah, so the, so the reason I'm being tough on you is if you sit there and you let people think they can make it from this side to this side just by thinking, it's not going to work. It's not because enough. what's in the way is this side here because most people come from my poor dad side. This is my poor dad side. And this is my rich dad side. When I hear people say I need money, it's because you're a poor person. A capitalist doesn't need money. I'm a capitalist. I'm not a socialist or a communist. Mm -hmm. So I, I'm being very tough on you because when you, when you look at the problems in the world today, it's because the world is run by socialists and communists. Mm -hmm. You know, in America, with this guy named Bernie Sanders and uh, Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez and uh, Joe Biden and Bill Clinton on Barack Obama. They're all communists. They're socialists at heart. Interesting, Trump, interesting, Trump, Robert. Trump is a capitalist. How do I know he's a capitalist? You know how I know? <laughs> he doesn't pay taxes. Uh, and, it, and, it, and it drives yeah. these guys crazy. It says, how does Trump not pay taxes? You know why he doesn't pay taxes? A lot of, a lot of the real estate he owns, right? He doesn't have a job. The only people that pay taxes have jobs. <laughs> so, so Robert, <laughs> it, 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 this is. Am I am am I am I twisting your brains up now? No, I, I love it. I love it. I mean, this this is the kind of information that people need to hear, just so they understand the the size of the transformation their mindset has you, to have. You've got it. You see, right now, the problem in the economy is people still think it's the old economy. Yes, they're still thinking the old way. Yeah, totally. and, 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 and my reason for shaking it so hard is then, so, oh, maybe I should look at something else. And, and Robert, as, as parents, I was, I'm, something that keeps me up at night is the fact that I want to teach that capitalism that right, that rich that side of the quadrant to my kids. How do you start to put in that mindset into your kids and make sure they don't go to the wrong path? How do you start uh, off? Uh, can him in my game. Yep. That's, that's why this rich, the rich dad company started with this here, a cash flow game. Okay, and we have a cash flow for kids game. Because you cannot teach a kid with words. Kids have to do things. A, a child cannot learn to be a soccer player with a golf ball. Do you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. You have to do something. Right. And our school systems punish you for making mistakes. That's why school teachers are criminals. They punish kids for making mistakes. How do you learn if you don't make a mistake? And so then what happens is that now 25 years old, that Oh, what if I lose my job? What if I fail? I'll make a mistake. Well, they, they were taught that as a kid. I wasn't taught that way. So it's a good question you just asked me. But the reason I teach this way is because the reason I created the cash flow game, if you look at this here, is that 
we have four intelligences, all human beings. We have mental intelligence, we have physical intelligence, we have emotional intelligence, and we have spiritual intelligence. So when you go to school, all they're doing is talking to your head. And that's where most school teachers are at. Emotionally, most school teachers are terrified of making mistakes. So they tell you, don't make mistakes. They punish you for making mistakes. So guess what? You don't do anything. Okay, so you know, you know why I'm a rich man? Because I've made a lot of mistakes. <laughs> and, 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 but most of the people who are poor haven't made enough mistakes yet. So I'm doing my best. The people are getting blasted in this economy and it's gonna get worse. It's because they went to school. They still think like school teachers. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we go we we go back to the same yeah to the same point of, about education and the the transformation that needs to happen for that for that whole system to change is is overwhelming. I mean, yeah, but it's but no, but it starts in your head, mm -hmm. and that's why I'm being so tough on you is because you're a great leader. If you sit there and give them the same bullshit that school teachers gave them or your mommy and daddy gave you, they're gonna be poor. You know, when you say, how's the economy treating me? Shit, I've never made so much money. But I, I still don't have a job. I'm, I'm still kind of hoping somebody will give me a job. Then I have to pay taxes then. Are <laughs> 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 I, 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 you getting my drift here? I don't think on this side. I only think on this side. This is poor dad. Uh, this is rich dad. It takes a while to make that shift. So when I say to you, I started a brand, well, I failed many times as a small businessman starting a brand. So finally I said, I better study it. So that's why, I don't know if you ever heard of it, but the band's called Duran Duran, The Police, Van Halen, Iron Maiden, Boy George. You know, I started hanging out with those guys studying the branding processes. So then a few years later, I started the Rich Dad brand with my wife, Kim. Let me ask you this, <clears throat> how much is the Rich Dad brand worth globally oh. you can calculate it as a multiple of the earnings it's going to have from the future i mean it's yeah millions. So, so 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 you're asking me the right questions i just being tough on you it's because these guys value money these guys value business they're capitalists on this side right and the moment if your, your viewers can get the shift in your brains right now because that's where the shape it only starts here. Nothing outside, nothing outside of you is starting right now. So right now I'm talking to all of your followers because you're a great leader. How do you make the shift this way? You don't have to, but that's the difference that makes the difference for me. You know, I mean, Joe Biden and Obama and all that, they're still this, they're still criminals. You know, Trump and I are on this side. I know people hate Trump. But he's a good man. You know why he doesn't? I said, you know why he doesn't pay taxes? Because he doesn't have a job. <laughs> <laughs> so, and, and, and Robert, I, I mean, I know you're you're a very uh, professional real estate investor. Also, you've you've done very well in real estate, and it's something that I encourage a lot of my of my viewers. No, no always have a foot in real estate. Hold on. Everybody thinks I'm a real estate guy. I, don't, I, have, I have a lot of real estate. You know? But you know why you own real estate? Why do you? Is... The same reason Trump does. It's a, it's a, the tax? Yeah. See, taxes. Tax benefits. Look, you got to go back in history. In 1971, the US dollar became debt. They took the dollar off the gold standard because Keynesian economics took over. In 1971, Keynesian economics meant you could just print as much money as you wanted. Mm -hmm. That's what they teach in school. Most school teachers and most MBA people and all this are communists. They don't know it. The other, the capitalist economic system is called Austrian economics. And that was, that was created by the, uh, I think, Jesuit priest or something. No, the Tom, St. Thomas of Aquinas, it was a religious order of economists. And they said, you can't screw people with the money. But the Keynesians do. 
So the people that believe in the gold standard are, um, what do you call that? I forgot, but they're, anyway, they're, they're gold standard economists, Austrian school, and there's Keynesian school. So what happened in 71 when the, when the Austrian got kicked out and Keynesian came in, they started to print money like crazy. So what that meant was guys like myself and Trump, debt became free, tax free. I could borrow as much money as I wanted because that's how the money system, monetary system expanded. So Trump and I borrow money so we can buy real estate and the more money we borrow, the less tax we pay. But they don't teach you that in school. So I'm doing my best to, I can't teach all this in one day, but the thing is, unless a person changes what goes on up here, they, they keep thinking like my poor dad here. They try, they try to work harder, you know, they try to make more money and they only pay more taxes. You don't get there from there because they're printing money faster than you can work for it. Robert, I, I have to ask, and, and this is something that uh, usually people from Latin America, as you know, I'm from Mexico. We have people from all Latin America listening. People from Latin America will tell you that it's harder to do business here because of the bank conditions, because of uh, the uncertainty of the economies here. What's your view when you do business outside of the United States? I mean, when, the, when you're in an, an emerging economy, um, do the same principles apply? Have you felt specifically um, that Latin America is, is, is a region where, you're, where you might be interested in investing? I mean, how, what's, what's your sense on the Latin American, say, perspective? It doesn't make any difference to me. It's only in your head. Look, you know, I only deal with people I trust. And if you deal with people you don't trust, you'll get screwed. We all know that. I don't care if they're Americans or Hondurans. You know, you, if, if, you do, if you do business with a communist, they're going to steal from you. Like, I would never do business with Joe Biden or Bill Clinton or Obama. They're criminals. But Trump is my very good friend. We make a lot of money together because I trust him. We're capitalists. Those guys are socialists and communists. So I'm, I'm being as hard as I can because you are this leader and you're a thought leader. But until a person changes their thoughts, so a lot of times the excuse is, oh, it's so hard to do it in this country. Well, everybody said the same thing with me growing up in Hawaii. You know, Hawaii was so expensive. And, and they use that as an excuse. Oh, Hawaii is so expensive. Yeah, I made a fortune in Hawaii. You know? but I know the laws, I have good attorneys, I'm a good accountant, but I, I, I operate <clears throat> from this side here, like my rich dad. That's why I wrote Rich Dad, Poor Dad. An another thing is this here. If you look at this, pick, this is the, from the cash flow game. This is all Rich Dad, Poor Dad is. Rich Dad, Poor Dad is a book on accounting, okay? Income statement. Uh, balance sheet, statement of cash flow. If you're going to be an entrepreneur, I don't care if you're in Nicaragua or California, which is even more crooked than Nicaragua. You know, I mean, <laughs> you still have to know this, but 99% of the people don't know what this is. That's why they get in trouble. Mm -hmm. They don't teach this in school. Yeah. If you can understand that, it's because your school teachers are criminals. My school teachers, your school teachers. That was the story of Rich Dad Poor Dad. And it, it's it's, so, it's such amazing that you that you had the opportunity to 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 make that. I mean, for that to happen when you were a kid. I mean, that that story is 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 amazing. And and when no, but and, but Carlos, Carlos, you're doing the same thing. My rich dad did for me. You're doing it for thousands of people. Do you understand how vital your ability to shake people up is? You know, when I was nine years old, I'd go home and catch hell from my poor dad. He said, did you do your homework? I said, no, I went to collect rent. 
I used to go, I used to go work for my rich dad. Do, do you know what I mean? But, but you have to choose. So Carlos, your job as an educator, as a leader, is to shake people up. Don't keep them complacent. Oh, you have, a, you have a college degree, you're safe. No, you're not. It means you're more <laughs> stupid than the other guy. <laughs> I actually, my, my, my book is actually <laughs> me. I mean, let me just show you, just so you know that I'm on the same track. This is my book. It's called The 11 Lies of Business Schools. Uh, good, good. So, good. so that's, that, Carl, that's, you keep shaking them up, man. You, yeah. keep, you, keep, you keep making them upset. You keep keeping them honest. <laughs> so believe me, I, I've learned a lot, Robert, from your model. And I, I, really, I mean, it's, it, it has been a, a, great, a, a great ride. So uh, Robert, let, let's, let's talk about, about the event we're going to host. Um, it's going to be in the next couple of days. Uh, it's, uh, I've got to give all the details in my social media and my accounts. It's going to be 8, 9, and 10 December. We're going to talk about what are we seeing in 2021. There's at least, uh, at least for the Latin American event, it's about 30 speakers or more. We're going to give all that information to everybody that sends the message. Uh, but it's, uh, it, the, the importance of the event, Robert, is obviously to speak about the next year, right? It's, it's supposed to be a year of resurrection. They're, they're calling it the year of resurrection. They're, they're calling it the, the, the bouncing back, right? What's, how, did, how did this 2021 event start? I mean, give us a couple of ideas on, on what are you thinking and, and what are you expecting of these events? We're, we're supercharging the entrepreneurial community of Latin America, I'm sure of that. But what's, what's your... What was your idea or the Rich Dad Company's idea on creating this event for 2021? Well, it's the most important event of the year. Mm -hmm. And the reason for that is all guys like me are going to go broke. Let me give it, okay? So you need new ideas. I'm not saying the ideas are good ideas. I'm saying they're radical ideas. They're different ideas. And if you still want to believe that all you have to do is like my poor dad, you know, I mean, go to school, get a job, work hard, get a paycheck and all that. Good. I mean, I wouldn't do it. But if you didn't get rich in 2020, you're not going to get rich in 2021 <laughs> with those ideas. So you need some radical shakeup ideas. And that's all I'm saying here. So let me give an idea between old guys and young guys. So. I don't know if you know this, but it's a company called Exxon, their oil company, biggest oil company in the world. Did you know they had to borrow money to pay their dividend this year? Mm. They're broke. You know why? Do you have any idea why? Yeah. I mean, this is a pretty big company. The reason they're going broke is because the greenies, like the socialists and the communists, are forcing them to pay what's called a carbon tax. It's gonna bankrupt. So all the guys my age, the baby boomers, who are counting on their dividend from Exxon, they're going to get hammered. It happened this year, 2020. 2021, the guys are going to win are the Green New Deal guys, the socialists. So I'm just changing. You know, I mean, I'm not here to argue about it. The thing is, if you're stupid, if you're a stupid socialist, you won't make any money anyway. <laughs> and if you're a stupid capitalist, you're going to lose money anyway. My, my, my point is, Carlos, this is not a time to be hanging out with old ideas. You've really got to have new ideas. So that's all this event is. You come to hear new ideas and shake it up. And that's your job as a leader, as a teacher, to shake people up. Because if, you, if they go the same ideas, oh, go to school, get a college degree, and get a job working for Exxon, you're going to go broke. That's how much is changing. Mm -hmm. So you need new ideas. Shake them up, Carlos. That, that's, that's the whole idea, Robert. And, and not only, we're, we're gonna be uh, around 20 or more speakers, eight, nine, and 10. So, so it's gonna be a very, very interesting ride. Well, it's more than interesting, it's crucial. It's important right now. Mm -hmm. Let me show you something else. You know, when I was a kid, I didn't have this thing here. This is the most powerful tool for entrepreneurs ever created. It's shocking how powerful this thing is. But if you still think like this, you're not gonna get that. You think like this, 
this can make you fortunes. It's only in your brain. It's only between your left ear and your right ear. So that's why you want to attend the event is because you want somebody to piss you off. You want somebody to say, this is how stupid you are. And that's what I'm doing right now. <laughs> and I think, Robert, you, you felt that change in your mindset. When somebody pissed you off when you were young, I mean, that, that change definitely created that ultra state that yes. we know from Robert Kiyosaki, you know, right? That, that's, 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 that, that's why I'm an entrepreneur. And Because that's the every trick. Time, I mean, every, time, every time I flunked out of school, the teacher kept saying, you're never going to make it. <laughs> <laughs> Just so you know, Robert, the, the, in Latin America, 9% of the general population are entrepreneurs, small business owners and entrepreneurs. So, so it's, small, that's good. Yeah, it's, yeah. So, so 9%. So it's a very small, small target. I mean, the 100% of the population, only 9% get to be small business owners. Imagine the amount of people that actually reach that rich, that quadrant. It's very, very small. Yeah. So, so usually when we try to shake things up, the other 90% of the general population usually gets pissed off. And that's the people that, that's the people that we have to fight every time. And, and hopefully we can get them to understand that yes. they need to be at that event so they can change to be, for, to be a part of that 9%. Carlos, that's the most important thing you can do is piss them off. <laughs> <laughs> We'll, we'll make sure that happens, Robert. <laughs> Thank you. We'll, we'll make sure that happens together. I'm counting on it. And hopefully, hopefully, Robert, we can see each other soon. I want to be in, in, in Arizona soon. I know you have a, a great home there. I want to okay. thank all your team. The Rich Dad Latino team has done a wonderful job with me. They're working okay. very hard at the event. They and, do a fantastic uh, that, job. You know, that, that's what, when you job. realize you're building a great brand is when the people that are working with you are, are great leaders, too. That's and you can, you can sense that from your staff. I mean, right. the amount of energy they brought to the table is just amazing. And the amount of people that they, they, they managed to put together in the event is amazing. So, so congratulations on that, Robert, too. Yeah, and Carlos, they're tough as nails, man. They're very tough people. <laughs> you know, I, I, I'm, I'm always giving them crap, and they just keep fighting back. So it's good. You know what I mean? Because that's what's going to take, Carlos. Yeah. If you're a, what, what in America, they call it snowflake. You know, that if it gets a little hot, you melt. <gasps> you call me a bad name, you melt. You're not going to make it anyway. Do, do you know, do you know right. I, I was just told that you can't use he or she anymore. You got to use shithead or something. I don't know what you call me. <laughs> <laughs> uh, what, what difference does it make? Call me he or she. I mean, you call me by the wrong pronoun. I'm like, well, who cares? But I get so wrapped up in this little, little stuff. There's bigger things going to happen. It's going to be a very exciting time, 2021 on. America's probably going to swing socialist, and I'm going to get rich swinging with them. Okay? I'm kind of a transvestite. I'll go either way. <laughs> <laughs> uh, thank you very much, Robert. So uh, we'll see you soon. We'll see you at the event. Yeah, Carlo, keep shaking them up now, okay? They, uh, I'll make sure we, we keep doing that. Uh, and Latin you, America you. loves you, Robert, just so you know. Everybody thank over you. here, we love you. Yeah, as I soon as it. this thing's over, we want you in vacation in Mexico. You make sure you schedule that, too. I love Mexico. I love Mexico, man. Thank you. Thank you. We'll see you soon, Robert. Thank you very thank much. You. Okay, bye. Thank you. Hey, pues ahí está. For everybody that's, uh, that's connected, I'm... Uh, Carlos Munoz from Mexico. Um, I basically run the, run the largest entrepreneur community in Mexico. Um, thank you very much for watching. Para todos los demás en español, vamos a tener un evento 8, 9 y 10 de diciembre. We're going to host an event 8, 9 and 10 of December with Robert Kiyosaki and 20 other speakers. Estos, vamos a tener un evento con 20 o 30 speakers más con Robert Kiyosaki hablando de qué tenemos que hacer en 2021. Tuvimos la oportunidad de tenerlo un ratito, Robert, pero si lo quieren ver más, pues vamos, van a tener que conectarse al evento. Va a estar impresionante. Gracias a todos. Sí, vamos a traducir esto. No se apuren. Claro que lo vamos a traducir. Vamos a, a colgarlo después en las demás redes y por supuesto que ahí va a estar toda la información. Gracias a todos. 
quédense reflexionando un poquito de esto. Tenemos que sacudir a la gente, como bien lo dijo Robert. Y acuérdense que estamos en pleno cierre de inscripciones de la maestría. Si no se han enterado, ahorita es cuando estamos a punto de cerrar inscripciones. Acuérdense que es un proceso anual. La maestría nos puede quedar fuera también. Mándenme mensajes. ¿Dudas del evento, Robert, o de la maestría? Con mucho gusto, manden mensaje a mis redes sociales. Y ahí vamos a estar eh, con muchísimo gusto viendo todos los detalles de cualquier duda. Gracias a todos. Nos vemos pronto. Nos vemos el domingo.